Hello, my friends, and welcome to a whole new Let's Play. That's right. I decided to kind of mix it up for this year. Since I've been doing all sorts of weird-ass games and whatnot, backlog and everything else. Well, I decided to do another series in which most of you have heard of. And it's called Sam and Max. This is the third of the the series of Sam and Max games. This one is called The Devil's Playground. So this is the third in the Sam and Max series. Which is on multiple platforms. <coughs> this is This is also on PlayStation 3. So therefore, yeah, I'm doing a PlayStation 3 slash Steam game. So, of course, it's playing Click and Venture. And, of course, this one was by request. You know who you are, so if I am pointing out, thanks for the request. Anyway... <sighs> I fixed everything to where it should be, so, um, I could play with my, um, yeah, I could play with my, um, controller. So, hopefully, everything is all set. <clears throat> so, everything is where it should be. Yep, mm-hmm. So, yes, this is going to be all sorts of weird. So, without further ado, yes, I want to start a new game. Prepare yourself. It's going to be weird. Sadly, I also have Batman, the Telltale series, but it doesn't work so well on Steam. And, and that happened. Classy. In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. Deep. If any one of us could unlock this terrible power, would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite, or would we use it to destroy? And then that happened. Yeah, really. It's a familiar tale. A power mad 
space gorilla pitted against a canine detective and a sociopathic bunny with psychic powers. Yeah. But, my friends, this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Skunkape's bizarre space suit. Only you can guide them in their quest to bring the villain to space justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. That works. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old school freelance police style beatdown of that guy. I can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape. Come down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Believe it or not, he does. He does have those powers. Okay. Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. I'm not gonna even ask how. to control his horrible psychic abilities unlocked by the toys of power. The toys of power. Teleportation. Well done, my friend. Now select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport himself and his very long-time companion to that location. And also Sam. Uh, yeah. Then that happened. Hooray, it's the freelance police. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, baby, I've missed you. Oh, wait. Shut up! Your ice <laughs> weapons will never be enough to defeat General Skunkape! Don't you still have that holding beacon? One half of the freelance police likes justice, bluegrass, heavy weaponry, snack foods. Just like criminals, cracks about his weight. Okay, Sam and Max are trapped on board the spaceship of the villain General Skumkape. They'll need to find a sneaky way to place the special penal zone homing beacon on General Skumkape's back.
Ah, uh, yes, I forgot I got the humming beacon on it. If I open the penal zone before I get rid of this homing beacon, I'll get sucked in. Well, let's do that. Hmm? What's that? Did you really believe it would be that easy? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna need some kind of cover to get up close and personal with Scotty. Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gift. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. What? What? It's a lump of linoplasty, the wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. Of course. This is about five to ten minutes where Wacky glue. I shall use the rhinoplasty. Yes, let's use what the fine art. Silly putty! Behold! The power of silly putty. Try to look leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, freelance police. Now, you must get that homing beacon onto General Skunkate before he reaches the Bronx, or all will be lost. Well, okay. If I open the penal zone before I get rid of this homing beacon, I'll get sucked in. Zone before I get rid of this homing beacon, I will get sucked in. You saw nothing. Oh, uh, I love what you've done with the place, my queen. Now we just 
disputes the remote control on the Bosco Gamers, and Skunky gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. Well... Let's activate. Black Soul. Turn on music, cause man, that's like blasting. Okay, game. I like to go back now. Unless you just up, up shit and fart it on yourself. Okay. <clears throat> One moment. Okay. Never mind. Worked itself. Okay, let's go back. Hey, Harry, do you know how we can beat Skunkade? Poor Harry. General Skunk is going to be able to make this pretty conscious terrarium to make an example of it. Even if he could, he would through the glass, Sam. The sun lamp was made even more luminous than usual. Wow. You'll have to use another one of the toys of power. Oh, like that. Two, 
Whoa. Favorite color is taupe. You what? have an infection of the lower. What? Yes, enough of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sam, I got Harry Lomad's phone number. Nice work, little buddy. Make sure you wait three days to call, or he'll think you're desperate. Oh, Excellent, boy. Max. That phone number might be enough, because General Scuncarpe locked the Lomad's cell phone and other belongings inside this container. Oh, that. You know how just, just very calm this is right now, folks? The madness that's happening. I like it. Harry Cell. Good job, Max. There must be something here that will help us knock Sparky back into the penal zone. Did you say we need to do more than that? How about we do that? By the power of Silly Putty! Spares Bazooka!
Perhaps it's time to use the bazooka. Rock and roll, Max. Careful with that trigger finger, Sam. Hey, Skunky, say hello to my little body. Oh, God, really, man? Bye. Summer Max, Save City, Alien Man stopped. You have just participated in a troubling vision of the future. Troubling? The first of many such disturbing revelations. I bet. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you, horrify you, even disgust you. Only on YouTube. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its bowel tingling climax, Ew. only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. I'm not flushing that. Of course, this is based off the comic and the cartoon of the same title. And there are five episodes, so this is the first one I'm doing. Which is called The Penal Zone. Have you ever had a frothy burning sensation? Hey Sam! This haunted toy I found just gave me an uncanny vision of our violent future! Beautiful. I know, I saw it too, somehow. Did your version have credits? It had a spaceship, a friendly alien brain in a jar, and an evil space gorilla trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean? Plot. Inconvenience. Oh, that too. Oh, Andros! <laughs> Off the corner are narrow and straight. Creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. I suck. I have come to you with a message of peace and love. What? Eh, sorry about that doody. Um... Yeah! <laughs> hmm, what could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friend, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. No oh, shit! Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. Yeah, because why not? Our story begins 25 minutes ago, on a street very much like this one. Just before I start this Let's Play. You've got a problem, Mom. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. Sam! Want to have the Freelance Police? We already heard that. Hello, Commissioner. No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. Wasn't my fault this time! Max! Other half! Hyperconnect rapidly thing became president of emergency election. Gaping, treacherous crack in the street and those pansies from City Hall shut down the whole block! What's that, Commissioner? 
A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? Yeah. We didn't have anything to do with that. It all started with a view, Master. for us to solve? Okay then, we'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. Thanks, I'm psychic powers now. Something about a spaceship. Yeah, that does help. Hmm, what could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. Of the car, of the, hmm, that. Thank you, game, for saving. Your patronage is most appreciated. So, <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to stop here. And in the next part, oh, in the next part, um, we got a spacecraft to investigate, and um, we got a brain to wake up. So stay tuned for more of Sam and Max. The Devil's Playground, Episode 1, The Penal Zone. You have been warned. This will get weird. <laughs>